What in the hell is that? Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. How your host, Belsif? It snowed last night. Oh, Stace left me a note. She did. Hey, all right. I'm decent. Got a new tire for the trailer. Had to buy it. Didn't warranty it. So we just slapped that on. But I'll tell you what, not until after this, it's gone. I'd almost guarantee it by the end of the day, it's going to be gone. By the end of this video, it's going to be gone. We got an appointment today, we do. So we got to get there. But we got to wait for the truck. Hold on to her, Jim. on thaw before we go anywhere, and I look fat as hell today. How's that, is that better? I am fat today, actually, I'm bloated for some reason. Do you ever get bloated? I know dudes aren't really supposed to say I'm bloated, but frig, I feel bloated today. I don't know what it is, but look at me. I gotta stop putting this camera in friggin' super wide angle. That's one of the biggest problems right there. Look at it. Super wide angle, Jim. Oh. Yeah, don't get jealous now. Ladies, calm down out there if you're watching this. I don't wanna see you get too excited. I know it's hard to contain yourself with the dirty old Ronald Single Bilson, but hey, you gotta. Sometimes you just have to relax, take it easy. But we're gonna sit here for a minute and get the truck warmed up and have a couple sips of coffee because I haven't even had a sip of coffee yet. She's still a virgin, Jim. So we're gonna get that into us, get going here and see what the day brings. Oh, hey, while well, I'm driving here into Sarnia, in the snow well the roads are dry it's pretty nice out actually it's only 30 31 out so well i'm on my way into town i just wonder if you had a chance yesterday to uh click on that subscribe button down there that i was talking about if you haven't make sure you do because i'd appreciate that and don't forget to like it too why wouldn't you we're gonna carry on into sarnia i just wanted to remind you about that because it's been a while i'll tell you one thing it sure feels like i'm driving a new truck again with all the new parts put in this thing no more clucker from the engine mount. The steering definitely feels tighter. The brakes feel decent. Friggin' right they do. We just gotta check right front tire pressure and change the oil. Hey look, I only got one dummy light today. See, that's what happens when you own a Chevy Silverado. If it's cold out, the lights go off. If it's hot out, the lights come on. It's, it's your, um, what do you call that? It's your warning light to let you know if it's slippery out or not. If it's below zero, your dash isn't lit up. If it's above zero, then your dash is lit up like a Christmas tree. That's how Chevy Silverados work. It's pretty decent. Still waiting for my appointment. Coming in town a little early, I did. It's only quarter after 10, and my appointment's at 11. So we only got 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna take a little drive here, and we'll have to see what we can see. Let me put my seatbelt on, Jim. Ah, hey, ah. Oh, where's Buddy going? Aw, oh, dick. How you doing, bud? How you doing? Waiting for the dirty old Bilsa? Friggin' right here. Why wouldn't you? Remember I told you the snow will be gone by the end of this video? Friggin' right it will be. It's almost gone now. Cause who wants friggin' snow? Not me. And hopefully not you. Let me know down below if you got snow last night. Cause I know a couple of you are from Sarnia that are watching me. A few of you actually. So you don't have to answer because I know you got snow. But if anybody's not in Sarnia, Wyoming area, let me know if you got snow last night. How's that? Does that work? Oh dick, they're bringing in the heavy equipment, Jim. You remember I told you there a couple, a couple videos ago that it looks like they might be building something in there? Friggin' right there. 100% Captain. 100% gonna build something in there they are. I see they're putting up a new McDonald's too on Confederation Street. Any of you that live in Sarnia or from the area you'll know what I'm talking about. Little McDonald's actions where the old, the hell was that, Cashways? Oh, Cashways Lumber used to be. Got a question for you Silverado drivers out there. I still got the clunk in the front. It's not as bad, but I still got it. Uh, like I said, I got a little rattle on the steering arm itself. But I checked the upper and lower ball joints and they all look good. I checked the sway bar and the sway bar bushings, they look good, but I still have a clunk. Could it be a shock? Leave your comments down below if you're a mechanic. Leave your comments down below just because you feel like it and you, you think you might know everything, but you don't know nothing like me. Jack of all trades, master of none. Friggin' right, if you're one of them guys, leave a comment down below, why wouldn't you? Oh man, that's where I gotta go on a boat. 45 minutes right over there. Another 65 bucks out of my bank account. 66, 66.53 actually. Just draining. You should see my Amazon cart right now. Cause I got everything I need. I need to fix my weed whacker. My weed whacker blew the friggin' gas gasket and the, the prime ball. You know the prime balls, they get all cracked and cocked over. Yeah, my prime balls are all deckered. I have to order new of them for the weed whacker. So I figured I'd order two of each because I got a life blower that's the same engine. So Frank, you know, that's not close to going. So I get over to that. I have to order the coil for the damn golf cart and hope to God it's a coil and nothing else because then I'm just into a bag of worms and just replacing everything in its brother. So hopefully it's that. What else do I gotta order? There's stuff I gotta fix. That's a problem. It's a problem I'm having right now. There's something else too. Oh, I gotta order all the fuel line and everything for the LS. So we're gonna order that. 
not right now, of course. That's like down the road. Oh, they're doing a big crane job over there. Hey, fix this up over there with a the crane, Jill. Right, right there. What are you doing? No boats in the dock today, Captain. I don't even recognize the name of that crane, to be honest with you. Whose crane is that? They hire an out of town person? Hard to say. Hard to say. So, yeah, I got a few things I need to order. I'm gonna order my dad's sticker for the back of his, his RAV4. He wants a sticker on the spare tire cover that says RAV4 skins. No boaters out today. She's too cold. The parking lot is empty. Let's go in here. It says pay and display parking only. I'll pay and display. Here. See that? There you go. Displayed it, Captain. What's Buddy doing? Oh, dick. What's this guy doing over here? What's really going on? Let's freaking get nosy. Let's hone in on him. A little avalanche action. What the hell is really going on? I think he's fishing. Let's hit here for a second and just think about the day. Frig, look at those clouds. They look cool. Frig, right there. Life with Bill, so if I show you clouds. Well, we're all done there. So that's good. Legs coming along really good, it is, if you're wondering. If you're not, then hey, it is what it is. But I'm gonna get myself some Harvey's today for lunch because I feel like an Angus Harvey's burger because they are delicious. Especially when you get extra bagels. You want some bagels? Hurry up. Thinking on my way. Buddy! Buddy! Listen, a bumper he is. Listen. Oh, dick. Got some torque. Hello, McDodjo. I'm gonna get behind him. Cause it sounds funny. Oh, oh! All right, all right. Oh, oh. So back a few little there videos ago, I told you about, I don't know if I told you or not, but I was trying those one shot diet pills. You're supposed to take two a day and I was only taking one a day, but it was working and I was losing weight. But then I stopped taking them again and I'm gaining weight back. So I'm thinking about going back on them because they didn't really hurt me or affect the way I felt. So leave your comments down below if you've ever had them or tried them. And I want to know because that's what we want to do. Inquiry minds want to know. Why wouldn't we, right? I fucking shut that thing up, Captain. Oh, I'm going. Should have stopped. That way I'd get rid of the Dodge. Oh, yeah, they are. Giving her, right? Giving her, they are. So hopefully Buddy here turns soon, even though it doesn't matter to me. So yeah, let me know down below if you did ever try it or whatnot, and that's not the other freaking thing because I'm inquiring. Might as well know I'm going to take one tonight because I need to freaking get back to work is what I need to do. I don't know what bank you guys are all with, but I'm with a bank that has seen cards. And I'll tell you right now, every time I go to use that effing app, I'm logged out. And it's like, invalid password. I've reset the password 10 times in the last three years. I know what the password is. It's like, it sessions you out. So then I say, oh, I forgot password. So you put your card number in, and when you put your email address, it says, oops, something went wrong. Like, what a piece of shit. I had points on my car that I could have used for lunch, and it just cocked me right over. I'm gonna call him when I get home and give him shish and make him pay for my fucking lunch. You're fucking right, I am. God, that pisses me off. But I did get Harvey's, by the way, and it smells friggin' awesome. So, I'm going to cruise over this way, over that way, and over this way, and we're gonna have something to eat, and we'll see what it brings us next. Sorry about that, I had a vent to you. I hope you don't mind, Jim. Leave a comment down below if you like the vent like that sometimes, why wouldn't you? Well, that didn't take long. Remember I uh, was working on the drone the other day there and I said I ordered the arm and stuff. So when was that video? That video was like middle of, uh, frick, it wasn't too long ago. Friday, maybe? Let's look now. I got it in already. I got the arm in. I'm pretty sure that's what this is anyways. Yep, Canada drone. Oh, pardon me. Canada drone. So there you go. If you're in Canada, you need drone parts, she was pretty quick. So let's have a wink gander in here. I've got my two little spring things I told you about that hold the arms on. I got an extra couple of them just in case. I've got a new arm and it comes with the motor. Decent. So that's good. And I got uh, an extra set of props because you never know. You never know when you might need some props. And this should be four props. It better be. One, two, three, four props. Oh, decent. There they are, brand new. So there we go. I'd have to say they're pretty quick on their mailing. And they're pretty quick on getting stuff to us. So that's a good sign. And they're reasonable in price too. The props were like $22. These were like 10 bucks. And this was like 43 bucks. And that comes with a motor. So that's pretty, pretty decent when you think about it. And they give me a little note here. It probably doesn't say dick all. Thank you for purchasing from us. Why wouldn't we? There you go. Everything come in good there. So we're good to go. Make sure the drone lights work properly. So we don't get cocked over by the drone police. 
But I'm gonna head home here and see what's going on. Maybe do a little computering because it is kind of still snowing out a little bit. The snow's almost gone for this video. It's not quite gone, so my apologies. It's almost gone. If the sun was out all day, it would have been gone, but it'll be gone tomorrow for sure. But hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being new if you're new. And until next time, love y'all, and you know what to do for now.